Guten, everyone, and welcome to Reaping a Blessing God Resort Ministry. I'm Missionary Agalor, the host and CEO. I am so grateful today. 1 Timothy 6 and 17. I thank God for giving us richly all things to enjoy. The family here at Reaping a Blessing God Resort wish you a very happy Thanksgiving. At this time, I bring to you our very own and one of the greatest men of God, who happens to be my son. Reaping the Blessing God Resort Media Ministry Pastor, Minister Tremaine Barr. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. We thank the Lord for waking us up this morning, starting us on our way. This is the day where we give thanks. Amen. And by the way, this is a Thanksgiving day, uh, uh, a day of Thanksgiving, and uh, falls in the month of gratitude. Because we know that November is the month of gratitude, and this is the time where we show gratitude. Amen. So uh, I'm going to be coming from Psalms. 50 uh, verse 14 it's one verse that says offer unto God thanksgiving and pay the, thy vows unto the most high unto the most high God amen how many of y'all know that our God is the most high God amen, amen. amen. so we, we need to, we must give thanks amen to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ because you want to know something? The Lord gave his only son. So that way we can live and have a second chance. So we can live and see this beautiful Thanksgiving of the year 2022. Amen. We are blessed in the city. Blessed in the field. And we have so much to be thankful for. We have so much to be thankful for. Because gratitude is a heart tenderizer. It keep our eyes focused on God. The sources of all good gifts. It keeps our hearts open with uh, open hearts and the fruits of the spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, and self-control. Have ample room to grow. We must have room to grow. Let's not be all up into ourselves. Thinking that, oh, no, I don't need to grow, amen. We must have room to grow and have gratitude towards those that uh, do correct us because they want to see us grow and they want to see us prosper, amen. amen. So I'm going to read a few uh, things here um, on Thanksgiving. See, we, need, we ought to have Thanksgiving in all, no matter what we face in life. So we had to have Thanksgiving when something big happens. Uh, when we talk about that, we see that the Red Sea just parted. Pharaoh's army disappeared in the waves. Then the Israelites standing all on the other side of slavery. Free at last. Free at last, they shouted. Amen. See, for us, many things, big happenings such as marriage, just the birth of a child, graduating school, amen, or even starting a brand new ministry, amen. amen. We must give thanksgiving because the most high God, amen, amen. gives us these gifts, amen. And we must love the Lord in all thy gifts, amen. Because God, at his perfect timing, allowed us to 
go into the big things that happen in lives. Amen. And we can expect big things to happen to us as long as we stay in God. Keep your anchor straight forward. Amen. Amen. Because, you know, we wait on the Lord. Good things come to those who wait. So tell yourself, I'm going to wait on you, Lord. Because I've tasted the Lord's goodness. The word says, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. And I've trusted your promise. Because you know our God doesn't back down on his promise. If God promised you something today, he will fulfill his promise. It may take a little while, amen, amen. but it's surely to come. Amen. Amen. Don't get impatient. Just wait on the Lord. We must have thanksgiving in the face of the unknown. There may be some time where things may seem strange. You may notice uh, things are not right in your marriage. Not right in your family. Amen. You may see something that don't look right in another person. But all I know is we got to have thanksgiving and gratitude. Because God will take us through it all. Amen. Amen. And I'm going to read about a few more things here. Thanksgiving and sorrows, testing and trials. Amen. See, Psalm, the book of Psalms shows us what it means to be thankful. Even in times of fear, sadness, and grief, gratitude draws our eyes away from the pain and terror of anxiety and the loss of things. So we got to learn to have gratitude and think about the good. Amen. Let's come out of the past. Amen. Get your mind Amen. off of what somebody did Amen. 10 years ago. Amen. 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 Who care? That person living their life and you sitting up somewhere upset and unhappy. Amen. You got you got so much to be thankful for. And reflect on the good times. Amen. We got Amen. to reflect on the good times. The good. Amen. The Lord don't want us to be living in negative and then in depressing and in a corner somewhere saying. Hallelujah. Amen. We got to be thankful. Amen. Be glad. Amen. Because God does sacrifice the greatest gift for our lives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. I'm thankful. Amen. Forget the past. Forget about what somebody did to me. Because I'm thankful and I'm blessed. Hallelujah. Amen. I ain't, I ain't got time to be spending my holidays sad and worried and depressed and what somebody did to me. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying my holidays. Oh, oh yes, I am. Because I'm going to have some gratitude because it draws us away from the pain. Yes, Amen. Hallelujah. So if you lost a loved one, somebody died, and it's very sad when we lose somebody, still have gratitude. Amen. You lost your job. Still have gratitude. Your boyfriend, girlfriend left you. Still have gratitude. Wife and husband divorced. Still have gratitude. Amen. Even when you're all by yourself, still have gratitude. And then uh, the last one here is uh, Thanksgiving, even when you don't feel like it. Amen. Amen. Even when you don't feel like it. See, sometimes. Um, God feels distant or silent. And when this happens, amen, you can feel that God is not working. God is working even when you don't think he is. He is working. Amen. God may seem distant, but let me tell you something. God will not leave thee nor forsake thee because he is in the midst. Amen. And all you got to do is have confidence middle of a crisis in the middle of a storm. Amen. Thanksgiving in the middle of the storm Amen. because God will sustain you in the storm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, God will build the rock. Amen. Amen. And that rock will be anchored and God will build your temple. Hallelujah. And even through the midst of all of what's going on around Hallelujah. God will sustain you. 
hallelujah. So we got to stick with gratitude. Have gratitude all the time. Even when things are not looking good. Even when you feel alone and when you feel sad. Still have gratitude. Lift up your head and still smile and be positive. Because did you know that your positive energy that you give can go to somebody else and they can make them feel good. Amen. So my word today is to stay in gratitude. Stay in gratitude even through the midst of everything. Amen. And you will do just fine. Amen. Because the Lord loves us all. And today is Thanksgiving Day. And I'm thankful for life. I'm thankful for delicious food. Uh -huh. I'm thankful for everything gifts, amen, uh, the ministry, amen, uh, thankful for work, amen, thankful for having a nice place over my head to stay warm in the winter, so those are some things to look at and be thankful for, mm -hmm. and I encourage everyone out there today to be thankful in everything, mm -hmm. and have a sense of gratitude, amen, amen, well, uh, I will thank you all for tuning in and listening to the, the message on today. Uh, this is, I hope this message touched somebody's spirit out there and, uh, and it uplifts somebody's heart today. And uh, feel free to check out my YouTube channel, Jermaine's Great Dishes and Inspirational TV, where I definitely do some good cooking and some inspirations. Amen. And, uh, okay, well, uh, we're about to go ahead and uh, go ahead and eat dinner and uh, have a delicious Thanksgiving feast. Uh, we thank everyone for tuning in to Reaping a Blessing Garden Resort uh, Ministries and uh, keep on praying for us in our ministry as God continues to bless us and as His ministry continues to grow. Amen. God bless you.